Hello beautiful people and welcome! Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you an everyday glam makeup look. Some days you just don't feel as pretty as you do other days, so on those days that you don't feel that amazing, it's kind of nice to do something a little extra when it comes to your makeup. If you are looking for a simple, natural, everyday makeup look with a little bit of pizzazz, then this video is especially for you. I already have my skincare base. If you haven't heard me talk about it on this channel, enough already, your skincare base is the most important part of your entire makeup routine. I had to learn that the hard way. I'm trying to help you out. Make sure that you invest in good skincare and have a good skincare routine before you put on your makeup. Not only is it gonna help your makeup last longer, but it's also gonna help protect your skin and keep your skin glowing and beautiful underneath that makeup. If you wanna see what I do for my skincare base, check out this video. I'll link it up here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a makeup base, which is different from skincare base. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. This is a really nice primer, especially for a more glam look. This really helps the makeup sit on the skin really nicely. Next step, this is the Say E Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. This stuff is just rocking my world. This gives you a really nice dewy look, dewy finish underneath. If you have more oily skin, I would concentrate this on the parts of your face that aren't necessarily too oily, like maybe up here so that you can have like a natural highlight. I have combination and a lot of times, my oil spots are like right in the middle of my forehead and in my chin, so when I'm using this product, I kind of avoid those areas. Just kind of focus it mainly on my cheeks. Okay, hold on, I need a break. I love Diet Dr. Pepper right now. That's another new pregnancy craving of mine. Diet Dr. Pepper, it has to be diet and it has to be Dr. Pepper. I just, I'm, I'm obsessed right now, so. Now officially, all the bases are covered, and now we can start with the makeup. I'm gonna do my brows first. I have the most spaciest brows, guys. If you are like me, and you struggle and get yourself the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's wonderful. But this, I feel like, gives me great control whenever I use this product. It's not too heavy on the brows. And I still am able to achieve much more of a natural brow look. I like to do just light strokes. This really helps. I like to interchangeably take my spoolie and brush the brows up so I can really make sure those hairs are blending well with that makeup. And the color of this, I forgot to mention, is actually ash brown. And I just keep shading until I don't see any awkward spaces. If you have naturally amazing brows, cherish them cherish them. Now we're gonna go in with the Tint and Tame Brow Gel from Sigma. It's just nice to have a good working brow gel and this helps my brows to stay up all day. Let's get into face makeup. Typically for a glam look, yes, I would use foundation. But I also like to do my makeup based on how my skin is that day. Some days are good, some days are bad. Today is a decent day. I don't really feel like putting on full coverage foundation. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It's not technically a foundation. However, I argue that it can be used as a foundation and it's beautiful. I'm in the color 5.5 Tan. This is just... I don't want to stop talking about how pretty this is. I love it and I hope they don't ever change the formula because it's so good. I'm gonna take my Sephora Pro Foundation 64 brush. This is by far the best blending brush ever. Effortlessly blends any makeup out. It's so flawless. I'm in my concealer era. For glam looks, I love the Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like it's really good coverage. This is in 35N Medium. This is where I'm going to apply the concealer. Don't have to do too much with this because it is such a thick consistency and it's such full coverage, but I love it for glam looks so much. I'm going to go ahead and I like this part of my face, just like one of my favorite things to do ever because it really helps define your contour when you do the contour. It's so perfect. This is a BH Cosmetics flat shader brush. I'm gonna take this to finish out my brow look. I'm taking residual from my under eye and I'm just going in to the brow like this. I will always do this because it makes your brows look so much prettier when you do it. Like look, look at the difference. It looks more finished. I like to blend it out so that it's not too harsh of a line, of course, and we'll blend that out even more. I'm gonna actually use the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki Brush F79 is the number. Blend the rest of this concealer out. Kind of like in the same motion that I would use my beauty blender, kind of like a dabbing motion. I feel like it gives a really nice flawless finish, especially doing a glam makeup look like we're doing. I feel like if I have foundation on underneath this, it would be too much. 
but that's just my opinion that's for me and my skin now we're gonna go in with bronzer my friends this bronzer has a chokehold on me it's from milk makeup it is their matte bronzer and baked it's their stick bronzer it's amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and highlight this part of my face sorry contour bring that around and then we're gonna do a nice bronze of the nose so up here mainly using the bronzer on my natural shadows of my face i actually like to take a beauty blender for this part because the way this stuff blends with a beauty blender is supreme it's beautiful look at how flawless that is and just like one pass of a blend it's so beautiful now i'm gonna take that sephora 64 pro foundation brush and i'm going to blend everything together again just to make sure there's no harsh lines just really give a nice pretty finish now for this glam look we're gonna start with some eye makeup i'm so excited for this because this is like my favorite part i don't know how to pronounce this siete london this i know you've seen this brand before they have this awesome palette it's their chocolate nine piece eyeshadow palette and it is beautiful great pigmentation and i've been loving using it lately i love browns i love gold and i love shimmers pink shimmers that's my favorite type of eyeshadow so i'm gonna go ahead and take mac 224 blending brush we're gonna start with sticky toffee this is a lot like the color of my bronzer we're just gonna work this on into the crease of the eyes like this this is gonna act as a really good base now I'm gonna go ahead and take hot chocolate out of this palette which is this color here it's a little darker brown and I'm gonna go ahead and focus that on the edges of my eyes we're gonna go with the e25 blending brush from Sigma and I'm gonna again take that hot chocolate color and really focus on the outer corner of my eye small circular motions nothing too crazy this is an amazing brush kind of packing and then slight circular motions I'm gonna go ahead and take the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush E40 is the number, and I'm just gonna make sure that that's really nice and soft so that we're not too harsh. Since that's done, I'm gonna go in with the marshmallow color. This is what it looks like. Love me some shimmer. I'm gonna use the Firm Shader Brush from Sigma, and I'm gonna put this on top. Bam, look at that. Do the same for the other eye. I'm gonna take that same firm shader brush that I just used, leave the residual of that shimmer on there, and I'm actually gonna take the first color that we use, which is the sticky toffee, and I'm gonna put that underneath the lash line. This is my favorite thing to do with an eye makeup look because it adds balance, really helps drag out those eyes and make them look bigger. When you have brown eyes and you do like a brown color, it really helps your brown eyes to pop. And then it kind of uniforms the makeup look because then you have all the colors that you kind of use used on your top lid right underneath there it just looks so pretty now we're gonna go ahead and work on the lashes so we are gonna apply eyeliner but this is my technique and how I like to apply my eyeliner because I find that when I use my lashes as a base of reference to draw my line it's a lot better it works out a lot better for me I'm gonna use the eyelash curler to really help these girls pop up I love using this mascara for glam looks because I just really feel like it gives you that lash extension look. This is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. It looks like lash extensions. I love to hit the bottom of my lashes. This is a really nice wand too for that because it's tiny. Look at the volume of those lashes. You just have to be careful, like let it dry because it will get everywhere. So I just kind of like give it a moment. Just gotta fan it a bit. Now we're gonna go in with eyeliner. This is the mark of a true glam look in my opinion. This is a tip that's helpful if you are a beginner. This is how I started doing my eyeliner from the very, very beginning when I was just learning how to do makeup. Now you're going to take an angled brush. I'm sure you have one of these. An angled brush. I'm gonna go ahead and take the darkest um, eyeshadow and I'm gonna use that same palette and I'm just gonna use the brown as the darkest. And this is what you're gonna do to help really figure out where you need to draw your eyeliner. You're gonna take that angled brush, right, with that dark eyeshadow and you're just going to draw one line, just like that. See? Bring you closer so you can really see it. I always like to start like right where the bottom of your eye ends. That's where I like to like draw it. You see that? That's how you know you're doing it right. 
because every eye shape is different obviously so you want to draw the shape that works for your eye and if you use that as a gauge you'll always be golden a lot of times i'll just do my makeup like this and i'll just like kind of blend it out because it looks really pretty i just wanted to show you that technique so it could help you draw real eyeliner on top of it so i'm going to use the stilla eyeliner i'm going to use the liquid liner the biggest tip also that i can give you for applying eyeliner is not to be scared to just go for it so i'm going to go ahead and take that line that i drew and easily just trace it. This might be a tricky part. You can either follow that line. I can't do it while I'm talking. You can either follow that line all the way here, okay, and just freehand it, or you can do this. Connect the line like this. And there you have a beautiful eyeliner. I hope that when you try it, it's as easy as I explained it. <laughs> but it will take practice. Now the eye makeup look is done. Let's go ahead and finish off the face makeup. I'm gonna use the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the color Pillow Talk. This spongy thing is the funnest thing ever. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it up here. And I'm gonna be generous with it because this blends out so nicely. Put a little bit on my nose. I'm gonna use the Sigma Contour and Blush brush and we're gonna go ahead and blend this out. This is such a pretty finish for blush. I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona Tan and Glow Palette Glow Impact Powder. This is really nice stuff. And I'm gonna take my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush to give a really nice light highlight underneath the brow, bridge of the nose. Now we're gonna do lips as the final touch. I'm gonna use the Merit Lipstick in the color Millennial. I broke it a while ago, so I have to be really careful when applying it, which stinks, but it's such a pretty color. This is not necessary, but I just like to do this because I like my lipsticks not to look too heavy. So I'm just gonna take my finger and just kind of dab this. And whenever I do this, it gives more of a natural type look. And to me, it just stays on longer. Last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and use a Fix Spray. A setting spray, <laughs> sorry. This is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I really have been loving it lately. It just smells so good and it keeps that makeup on. So this is the finished look. What do you think? I love doing this, especially on those days, like I said before, that I just need a little bit of an oomph, a little way to feel a little bit more glamorous. <laughs> do I do this every day? No, but what I love about this look is that it's easy to do in a short period of time. I can do this under 20 minutes. I don't have to set aside like two hours to do this glam type look and that's what I love about it. I hope that you love it as much as I do when you try it for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget if you really like this video to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video. Again, I thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.